All right. Mm. <laughs> Did I ever tell you about my wife, Kyle? Hold up. <laughs> oh, hold up. Kyle, have I ever told you about my wife? Why? What are you? What for? What are you doing? Have I ever told you about? How do you do it? Oh, you're doing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're doing the clown shit? <laughs> clown <laughs> shit, Lewis? C.S. Lewis, no, I call it no, clown no. shit. That shit's dead. No, it's not. It sounds like you're about to bring it back. I'm bringing it back. Oh, no. My wife reminds me of the movie Secondhand Lions. <laughs> Which is, what? what is even, is that a movie? <laughs> Secondhand Lions. No the one children's knows. spectacle when the, the boy moves in with his two uncles. Because I call her Secondhand Lions because she never gives me a second apiece. She never lends a hand with the chores, Kyle. And you know what else? She's always lying. She's always lying to me, Kyle. Oh, <laughs> and it's starring Robert Duvall. It's starring Robert Duvall, which is funny because she always robs me of my hard-earned money when I do all the work. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you for sure. Got Haley Joe Osmond in that film, which is also funny. She makes me park my car outside even when it's... <laughs> No, Even no. when it's Haley out. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of She never refills there. my motherfucking cup of joe. Uh, you're going to add an L to that? I'm going to... Tr- no. <laughs> no, I'm not. And she said, she said the worst thing about my mom and dad. She said my in-laws meant <laughs> nothing to her. <laughs> no, no, no. That's my fucking wife, Kyle. Don't get me started on my fucking wife. I'm not going to get you started on secondhand lions. Uh, okay. <laughs> she reminds me the of the 2004 the film Euro book. Trip. Oh, no. She's always in your business. <laughs> she owes me money. <laughs> and she's a fucking trip. <laughs> she's a fucking trip. And Euro Trip is starring Michelle Trachtenberg, Kyle. Oh, no. And she's always looking at Michelle's phone, seeing who I'm texting. <laughs> <laughs> and she... Yeah. <laughs> she, yeah, that's right. <laughs> she's tracked in who I'm texting, and she can't cook for shit. She's always making salads. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. With iceberg lettuce. <laughs> 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 My fucking wow. wife. She's like wow. secondhand lines in Euro Trip. Your wife is just like secondhand lines <laughs> in Euro Trip, starring Michelle Trachtenberg. <laughs> It, Did I second hand line starring Haley Joel Osment? My wife is and the Robert worst. Duvall. And Robert Duvall is in Won't that give as me well. A second of time, exact, a second of peace. That's how my fucking wife is. <laughs> oh shit! Worth fights today. <laughs> <laughs> John, what's up? Uh, let's just do. Uh, we're getting ad read out of the way. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just had to get that off my chest. <laughs> I didn't know what I was supposed to do there. Yeah. It's fucking hard being around you two. <laughs> you just like, like, am I involved in this or not? Or am you I could have joined. Am I joined? Just think, think of a movie. If you wanted to. Think of a, Oh, I can't think like that. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> just think of any. The first movie that comes to your brain. Miracle. She's always looking in the mirror. She cares about her looks. Kyle, go ahead. Go take Ickle. She I took Mir. <laughs> she don't even fuck with me. She wants a cool dude. <laughs> go ahead. Are you going to try to do Icicle? Is that Mare a cool? Mere a cool? Mere a cool. Yeah. Oh, uh, she wants a cool dude. Okay. Yeah, I'm tapped <laughs> Simple out. Simple as that. Uh, I was that? just thinking, like, it's just like that it's, you know. She's put on so much weight since 2006 that it's a miracle I ever get hard. <laughs> there we go. And who's that starring? That is starring uh, Kurt Russell. Okay. She's always very curt with me in the mornings. Yeah. And she goes and makes me rake the leaves, and then I look outside. And <laughs> she's always out there rustling in them. Yeah. <laughs> Undoing all my hard work. I'm doing the chores. She's just <laughs> rustling in the leaves. <laughs> When I see her head to the salad bar, I have to rustle her down. I have to yeah. rustle her. Rustle her. I got to go. You stick to the salad and a water. I got a sandwich right. for you. Um, <laughs> I'll do Van Wilder to the rise of Taj. <laughs> She's sending all my money. I'm going to have to end up living in a van. <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, Wilder. That's it's almost too easy. Today's episode is brought to you by... By presented by Waterbird. 
You guys like mm-hmm. water bird spirits? It's delicious. Kyle, you're always swigging on water bird, aren't you? They're canned cocktails. You get them at grocery stores or convenience stores, right? Not no more. Well, you buy them just to buy. You yeah, like the look of the can. Yeah, the aesthetic is good. Oh, my God. All three of you are sober, and I got it. Oh, shit. I guess this is on Nikki. Oh, shit. <laughs> they make high-quality canned <laughs> cocktails with real premium distilled spirits. Uh, Waterbird's ranch water is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> water bird that's what it says what that? their ranch water their ranch water is delicious the I ranch water is uh, made of real pe- premium blanco tequila sparkling water and real lime juice what do you think that is owen he thinks it's I the was ultimate say refreshment. It's tequila and topo chico mm-hmm. Ooh. they make their ranch water with real tequila not from sugar or malt like others on the market and they uh make delicious tequila margarita feel free to riff on these boys <laughs> Yeah, we got that off. Tequila written. margarita? One of my favorite margarita. things. It's one of my favorite. There it is. Yeah. And it's, and it, it what is, other riffing do you it need? Is also, I love it. And I love it. Let me fucking talk. It's also one of my favorite things, too. <laughs> it's also one of my favorite things. You can get them at a grocery store or convenience store near you. Um, use promo code ANUS upon checkout for 0% off. They did not give us a promo code. <laughs> For full price, but you can still use a promo. Oh, you can type just, it in. It you just can won't still work. try to use one. Yeah, yeah, right. you, that. Right. Yeah. you did the ad read. Get the credit for it. Put in anus. Let them know. Let them know. Yeah. Put in anus. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of anus, uh, yeah. We're I, gonna, I, I don't know how your podcast works, so I'm just gonna say something. That was a good segue. Hey, okay. Yeah. Speaking of anus, mm. we were just talking about. I was talking about with uh, Josh, who does social on my show. Nope, it wasn't with Josh. It was with Zach. Who also does social art? Job. Similar, and uh, similar dudes. Yeah, Zach. Yeah, they both actually they couldn't be more opposite. They could not be more opposite. <laughs> yeah, well, one's black, opposite? one's white, one's yeah. straight, one's gay. One's gay, okay. one's adopted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Zach, Zach was talking about some gay shit as he does. Let's throw adopted into LGBTQ plus. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they should. Yeah, they I thought you were spot. saying like adopted's the straightest thing you could be. <laughs> it is the straightest yeah. thing you could be. <laughs> Just like I'm. So- I don't know. I'm so straight. My fucking parents <laughs> got rid of me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so fucking. My, my dad, dad, selling it my dad right was now. like, "This guy's too straight to have in the house." What like, the yeah, fuck? He's can't have this guy around my wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh fuck! You were adopted. You're. Sm- oh this, my god. This fucking kid's really good Jesus at Little League. He cannot hang around Christ. this woman I love. No, no. She's gonna get all fucking yeah. horny. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> the, but we L- were talking L-A-G-B-T-Q. about LGBTQ. Um, we were we were talking about you know doing gay stuff. And we invented the term butt jobs. And butt jobs? Yeah, like you, you get a butt job. What do you think what do you think that means? So well, I mean, that could mean a prosthetic, a fake it's a fake ass, ass or somewhere it, in the Dominican Republic. Oh, like a blow oh, job I or a rim job. Of an action. It's a sexual, sexual action. For sure. A butt job. I don't know. Uh-huh. You put like your you like credit card your butt cheek in between. See how we you, like, I, I use using your it butt in cheek there's your butt cheek there's a fucking a butt. Like a riffle shuffle. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like like you got and the fucking of the butt means you're getting the butt job. Because if you're getting a blow job, that's the your mm. dick going into the orifice. Yeah, I guess it would be a butt job. It's a butt job. A BJ. Yeah, and if you so if you got well, a butt job, no, you're fucking no. a butt. Because when you do that. the work in a blow job, it's a face fuck. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. Not, a, it's not a blow job. Fuck. Are you trying to dance around the just the term getting fucked in the ass? Yeah, right. we just, I don't know. We just saw butt jobs. Yeah, you're, real t- you're tiptoeing around the rim. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, speaking of day? being fucked in the butt, <laughs> we brought you on here. Uh, we're talking Catholicism today. Hell yeah. Our bishop from Art Wheeling, you can look him up, Bishop Bransfield, First result, it's a, he has his own Wikipedia page. Is a disgraced former bishop from our town. He uh, there's a picture. How of good looking? Not, not. No. But he, he's uh, tall. He confirmed Kyle, and there's a yeah. picture of him being confirmed. He's gripping him. the back of your head. Yeah, yeah. He's holding what? you close, uh-huh. and oh, that'll pop up like right. A koosh ball. Yeah. Right? yeah, he's holding you on like a koosh ball, <laughs> and it, it was crazy because he got in trouble for um, uh, being into boys. Yeah, being literally. Um, and <laughs> he was the Philadelphia bishop and his punishment, not, he didn't have to quit. They just sent him to Wheeling to be bishop because yeah. they got for his punishment well, for what, Nick, for, for, uh, for banging kids, for, yeah. banging banging kids in Philly. Yeah. Like, All right, we're going to send you Wait, to Wheeling this, with much this uglier is, boys. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was just okay. He's was like, like, no, that, those are the I ugliest get that boys more, there. Sending them over to Wheeling instead of sending them to fucking New England. We had them all. Well, we're talking about as opposed to sending him to jail. Well, <laughs> well, I, think <laughs> you, I think you're forgetting about jail. I think it's you're pretty so well Catholic. You're just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. punishment for. We should send him to Woonsocket. We should send him to Fall River. Him to Fall River. I don't yeah, think we're breaking news here that the Catholics they weren't sending them to jail. They were moving them around. But yeah. they, I, I like that they spread they, out a little bit. But like, bit. we didn't know. They like sold him to us. They're like, yeah, "You're gonna love this guy." We're like, "Oh, we got the guy from Philly." That's like getting a big free agent signing. Have none of you animals seen Spotlight? No, this, none of us. Well, knew. this was before yeah. Spotlight, but not, yeah, none of us knew. Well, no, but, like, this was after Spotlight. The only none. homos the Catholic Church likes are Nims and <laughs> homo Nims and phones. <laughs> That's like, the only ones they accept. And Lees, and Lees, homo Lees, homo Nims, and homo phones because like. They sold him. They like conned us into taking this bishop. We needed He's one a great like, guy. They're just like He's going to yeah. get the CYO team. He, they're going to start shooting from the three-point line really well. <laughs> he, they were but like <laughs> uh, they, they were like getting us with homonyms cuz they were just like, "Yeah, he prays at night." <laughs> it was like, "Oh, that's good for a bishop." Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Par he, for like, the course. He, like praise uh, on boys. <laughs> like he's hunting. Them. And he, he'll like he'll say the Nicene Creed when he's on top of you, missionary. <laughs> yeah, he'll yeah. Moan, he'll moan the. Yeah, he'll the, send uh, you on a missionary trip. He'll like trip you so you fall on him. <laughs> 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 missionary. He's just like yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like a pious man. You said that. No, I said he. I said he pied us, man. <laughs> Came in our buttholes, man. <laughs> oh, you. Uh, oh, you just said he was. <laughs> no, no, he said he. <laughs> <laughs> He's a pious man. He's a pious. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? But he, he, like, there's a whole report of like his expenditure of what he spent things on, and he paid. He like, he always had an assistant that was like a 24 hour job, and he paid them like three hundred thousand dollars a year. Like young priests, like probably like nineteen twenty, not going to college, just being priests, and he would like buy them like gemstones, and he it was a very weird thing, and he invited affluent wheeling people to dinners yeah. at his place and he made you like kiss his rings and shit right very so, weird he had, he all had this man. stuff is like even the gemstones right away you're buying someone gemstones or you're happy to get gemstones. jewelry he spent a thousand dollars a week gay. on flowers uh -huh. one thousand dollars a week on flowers what yeah like he was for the church or for just him. friends it went to his house and then his house that he lived in so this dude but like this is this guy's just coming off as a homosexual not predator the predator is a surprise so far he he still he prayed and he was uh, he he fucked like young priests he flew them out to rome and stuff oh wait yeah. uh, so young priests so they're of age no but he did boys and boys to men nick tell him about his fucking house his house uh was there are you leading me into a joke I just no i was just like that. it was an, it was spectacular his um his house was enormous the biggest in Wheeling. Right, so the, the, it was the biggest in Wheeling was him and then the owner of the Pirates, Bob Nutting. Yeah. They, and Bob Nutting Jr., yeah. who was named after how he was made. House <laughs> yeah. <than a> billionaire? <laughs> and those were the top three. But you yeah. have a bigger house than a billionaire? Yes. He what? had a bigger house than Nutting, so, the owner of the Pirates. I imagine he's a billionaire. I don't know. The, I think the, he is. The bishop? No, 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 no. no, 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 no the owner no, of no, the Pirates, Bob, definitely. The pirates, yeah. um, but his, he, weirdly, he burnt down his bathroom, the bishop. I don't know if he left like a straightening iron plugged that. in. Is he Britney Spears? I don't know. He burnt down just his bathroom, and so he got from the Catholic Church to fix his bathroom three point six million dollars. Shut the fuck up! And then he just redid the whole house. So how does that work? The whole cat, like the global Catholic Church, or just the diocese? He was getting it from like Rome because the priests they, just, they can do that. He resigned, and the Pope immediately was like, "Yeah, I accept your resignation." Like publicly said it. Like he reported like right to the Pope. He this was guy did. Yeah. Dude, and then there's just a picture of him just palm and KB's head like Kawhi Leonard, Are you? which would be like the funniest picture of like a bishop like holding like a boy <laughs> looking at the camera <laughs> for uh -huh. like a New Balance shoe. Did he? Yeah. Did he do anything with you? He confirmed me. He confirmed what did he I confirm? was straight. He confirmed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like one bit of it. <laughs> no, but he he was in charge of my confirmation. Was was there yeah. any part of you that was like that? Like now looking back, like almost like Mac and something, where you're like, what the fuck? No, I even, never got. He didn't even try. He, made, he definitely, you know, how they put the uh, communion wafer on your tongue. Yeah. With their fi their fingers usually on top, he did it goofy style. <laughs> so he put his fingernail like on your tongue and like oh. slid it back. Ew. Yeah. Oh. I don't know if you're making a joke or not. I'm not. No, he did. Why? Also, that's not how they do it anymore. That's how he demanded it be that way. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, yeah. We had a we had a priest. Uh, I I used to I went to Catholic school, so I used to fuck around. I used to say fuck with a lot of priests. Well, I did both. But there's 
There's been rumors that maybe I got I got touched by a priest when I was younger. Hurricane O'Reilly. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He was an there's, Irish priest. There yeah. is. There's, there's, well, there's, there's a you, lot of... You, are you being serious? There are rumors going around <laughs> that fights from Barstool. Well, we... I mean, we've started them, me and Kevin. Oh, you started, oh, you started that? that? <laughs> Was it a glory hole or a glory B? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's either I started... Do you call your butthole the glory B? It's my butt jobs? Your, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the glory B job. Um... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if I was. I was an altar boy for a really, really you long were? time. Really yeah, I didn't do time. that. It I was like you had the option. Either. Like you can be one with zero advan- like advantages or benefits or perks, or you can just not do it. I was one until I, I was chose too not old. To. Yeah, too old. You were too old. I was way too old to be an altar boy. Like how, I was an altar. Were you driving a mass? I I had pubes. You had pubes, but that pubes and I was an altar with boy. some of you fucks are weird. You get pubes crazy early. I not me. Pubes Who are I was not me? That? What do you mean, you old. fucks? I don't know. I feel like people from West Virginia are probably like born with pubes. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, no. <laughs> born with pubes. Please come out like no hair on the head. But oh, he's got pubes. <laughs> Is that like a redneck stereotype? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just figure you're hairy it's and weird. Crazy pituitary. Oh, they're from the mountains <laughs> of West Virginia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the, wait, I forgot. I was gonna say. Wait, so like, so you had pubes, but that's. Like, yeah, people, 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 people get hairy early. I watched the Little yeah, League World Series. Did you have – were you – I was a tr- – he made us be, like, a traditional you altar You watched the Little League well. World Series what? Like, the showers? Yeah. No, the, you <laughs> see just fucking kids with mustaches uh, and shit. Yeah. No, I, 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 was, I, was I, was very, I was very, very late to the pube game. Me, Me too. Yeah, I was so late to the pube game that, like, my high school locker room celebrated. I was – They were like, fight, just oh, got a pube. no. No way. That, yeah, it was a big one. deal. Ju- as a junior for like in high hockey, school, it was really late. Yeah. I was I was I was late to the jerk off game too. Oh, I was I was early to the jerk off game. You jerked off without pubes? I, big time, big time. Yeah, you I did always, too. I yes. always hung around you with older busting. kids. No, were you Bro, busting? I was. I was busting nothing. Okay, like the, I was. Yeah. I was busting. I was feeling <laughs> the ecstasy, but nothing was coming That's out. That's ideal, which is ideal. Yeah, and, and it's it and awesome. it's a good thing because I was doing it. I've told this story before on KFC Radio, so anyone listening. Like all right, he's telling it, but I we was, have zero crossover. I was we I was not. doing it weird. What do you mean? I just didn't know how to jerk off. Were you so, doing like the rub your tummy, pat your head, but with your? I feel like even like an no, infant my, could primarily figure out oh, like, a way is, that wasn't too legs weird. up. You don't think legs up is weird? I think a breeze on the butthole is nice, bro. It was I, I very vividly. Where'd I, you I put your come, legs? You just oh, held them up. I just held them up, bro. I'll, 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 show it, I'll show it to you. I love showing it. <laughs> I can <laughs> tell. Oh, wow. I like Jesus. everyone knowing. The um, I, I had just come back from Providence College hockey camp, uh, a Catholic institution. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, the counselors who were PC hockey players. Oh, my alma mater. Uh, oh, yeah. And I love those. Oh, and you were room. just gonna let that slide. Um, <laughs> and why the, did uh, we have you on the podcast the first time? And you sound like fucking Oscar yeah. the Grouch. You sound <laughs> absurd. Dude, I have like Jesus. <laughs> it's, 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 not even, worse. it's not even. It's getting flemmy. worse by the second. Yeah. It's, I just I did the fucking live stream last night. I was yelling out during that. I just did the podcast. Yeah, but so you've been doing this for about a decade. Is it, it is it now just it. shocking your body? I don't I don't get a callous throat. <laughs> um, but the uh, the guy the counselors who were PC hockey players had been talking about jerking off. And how old were you? I was probably like sixth grade. Okay, you weren't that early to the game. I was standard. Oh okay, yeah, all right. It was fifth. Okay, fifth, and then fifth, the college grade. kids talking about masturbating in front of the sixth graders. Yeah, yeah. I got it. It all was. Right. Because my parents, usually the camp went for one week, but I like to go for two weeks. My parents, despite the fact that I lived 20 minutes away, were like, why don't you stay for the – because it's, it's usually like it would end on a Friday, start on a Monday, and they'd be like, why don't you just stay the weekend? So I would just stay there with the college players, and they were just kind of like – Wait, wait. So the camp was done. Yeah. And, they just, and just, the college kids were like, oh, I'm going to let this 11-year-old just, just hang out in my hang dorm. Out? Like, this, like, the, the camp knew about it and shit like that. Like, Where did you sleep? I slept. I just slept in my dorm room that I had. For, it was an overnight camp. Okay. And I just slept in my dorm room that I'd had the previous week. So there's one stray sixth grader <laughs> in a <laughs> <laughs> dorm of college kids. What are you doing during well, the day? I, I watched Cheech and Chong with them. And, then I, and I they're just, just hanging out. out with you? Like, yeah. hell yeah. Like This guy's cool. This kid is cool. I was cool as shit. I think they well, felt bad for you. Like, oh, this kid's like, parents like, this don't kids don't love him. Don't He's love got him at all. Special needs, clearly. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so they were, they were just talking about jerking off, and I like I just kind of picked up what I heard here and there, and uh, I was scared to do it in my dorm room because I I don't know I just I don't know, what if someone walked in even though I had locks whatever, and but I went home, 
and I I'm really scared to get on this table. I'm gonna do yeah. it on the floor. Um, and I like I went do home. it on the table just in case, just okay, in case, fine. just in we'll case move, you we'll, fall. We'll move this mic. And I did it. Jesus. Yeah, that's fine. Um, that's fine. That's not fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, what le- what happened at the camp that led you to try that? I don't know, man. They were just talking. But just what, so why was the camp relevant to you doing that? Because that, that, that's where I would heard of jerking off. First of all. Oh, so you just so heard the, about yeah, jerking like, off? Yeah, you just jerk your dick. And Did then, you have yeah, any material? You feel really good. What? Did you have any material with you? Uh, yeah. at the camp in later years, yes, we would pass around. We had magazines and shit like that. But I was younger. So we hadn't even had material. The time when I had legs up, no, mm-hmm. that was just. And thank God I fired nothing because that would hit me right in the face. It yeah. yeah, nothing to stop it. <laughs> your hand would have been stuck behind your thigh. I remember, Um, do you guys remember jerkinworld.com? It was like jerk off techniques. No. no. I, what? I, I went to yeah, there before not. I was even jerking off and I learned about like, I think it was called the Fifi, which is like a rubber glove and a hot washcloth rubber banded around. That I know. And so the oh, only like access to rubber pussy. gloves we had so they made were like prison, dissection right? day. Yeah. yeah. And so dissection like, day. Yeah, yeah. So we would always like pretend it was like a heist. We would double up on gloves. So you throw <laughs> the one pair away and put the other pair in your backpack. So <laughs> you guys were later. all just making fifis. Yeah, everybody. Bro, yeah. I never we all heard went of to a fifi until we talked to Wallow. Really? Wallow was talking about making them in jail. Yeah. Yeah, jail in St. Vincent School. <laughs> I've uh, I've told them the first time I jerked off, I didn't touch my shaft. Just the head. No, I was shaking my balls. Oh, shaking your rolling <laughs> dice. <laughs> rolling it work? Dice. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think you could jerk off just rubbing the head. I think you, yeah. I, you could get there. I mean, in, th- in theory, it's just a big clit, right? No. Isn't the, pe- <laughs> isn't the penis just a big clit? A what? No. No? Yeah, no. I have. Yeah, a, I, have I want to be clear about this. I have zero understanding of female sex organs. I don't know. Like male, male as well, even despite my... You know, pretty extensive knowledge of the piece. Yeah, but I have I don't know what things are. I don't know like I, I um, every time I see a diagram of a vagina, it's the first time I've ever seen. A I'm pretty of sure a, a clitoris is an undeveloped penis. Really? See, oh, I think I'm somewhat yeah, mirror images of each other. No way. Yeah. That explains. Fuck no, you both. Not you. You're good. <laughs> Fuck you both. Just organize cool. differently. You know more about pussies. <laughs> so finding cool. the clit is gay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Actually. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> have no. you ever licked a clit? Honestly, <laughs> I know like that's a have joke. Have you licked? To, have you licked a clit? Yeah, or I've, you, sucked or, a, or, I've sucked little dick. <laughs> you, it's either you lick a clit or you're adopted. <laughs> Scientifically, you've sucked the mirror image of a penis. <laughs> yeah, the reflection of a dick. It says it right here. <laughs> you ever licked clit, eating a banana, or had a popsicle? Yeah. Gay. Yeah, you're gay. So, but d- licking clit is sucking a little tiny dick. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable! <laughs> You're a priest. Um, while we're on the female anatomy, um, I've been starting to do this thing where <laughs> Hooters describing titties as Hooters, you automatically think giant titties. So I've just been being like, yeah, I saw this girl, like she had the fattest ass, good body, tiny little perky Hooters, <laughs> <laughs> and just like, like, <laughs> just like, just the smallest little bazoongas, just tiny little <laughs> fucking bazoongas that I'm sucking. Little off. acorn mommy milkers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. little little perky. She doesn't even need to wear just a bra. Just little. Oh, t- I love like oh. an A cup set of jugs. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just enough. Like I had a half a mouthful of her honker burgers. <laughs> just, just tiny little uh, things. Mosquito bite dumpers. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, she was stacked with A cups. <laughs> 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 the I I've long thought that breasts we don't have a good word for them. There isn't a single word that's like normal to no, use nah, in public. No, no, it's th- no, it's the correct answer. For, there's no normal word for men to call uh, women's underwear. Oh, I call them underpants. No way! Your voice oh. like got gravelly. <laughs> yeah. oh. You looked oh, into the does. camera. Say, if you, oh. When you say underpants, you Under- automatically assume skid mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. why I do it. Yes. Yeah, so like, so imagine that's meat. the difference between underwear and underpants. Women underpants think have underpants. shit. They, they come underpants <laughs> when they're shitting. Yeah. Yeah, that's disgusting <laughs> to call them underpants in any scenario. <laughs> what kind of underpants you got on? Well, pull your underpants to the side. <laughs> pull your underpants to the side. So I can, it is. So I can rub your little <laughs> underdeveloped dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she had the tightest pussy right below her tiny little dick. <laughs> 
<laughs> under but there's nothing like the right, like like a dick. You say a dick's fine. You can dick say a dick fine. to your grandfather. You can say you a can dick say to dick. your doctor. You say a dick to your mom. You can say dick to anybody. Dick works. Someone says breasts. Ew, you're, yeah, that's it's wrong. like too medical. That's too creep, medical. A medical slash creepy. And then tits. Your like, tits is all right, you're the a best. frat boy. Like, tits oh, is a frat boy. Yeah. I'm a jughead myself. Yeah. I say jugs. You say jugs? Yeah. 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 That means like you're a father in 1992. Damn, Dana, jugs on her. Like, you muted family. That's 1990 guy. to you. Yeah. You're doing. <laughs> <laughs> but you said 90. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, do your 1990s guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, see, I yeah. play with uh, I'm gonna oh, go yeah. play with my Tamagotchi. See, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> go play N64. Mm. Right, right in the middle of a good Peter Griffin joke, you <laughs> mute and you're like, "Hey, Bay, let me see those jugs. Let's see, let's, let's see those fucking jugs. <laughs> Bring me in a fucking can of beer she, and she had a fat fucking jugs. ass, fucking perfect abs, bald head, <laughs> <laughs> just tiny little jugs." <laughs> Just stacked with the tiniest little <laughs> fucking hump. Tiny little hooters. <laughs> Took her upstairs. It's my new move. I, I want to go to a house party and just like... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, no. What's your new move when you go to the next house party? Next time I go to a house party, I'm going to yeah. find like the hottest girl. When's the know, last big, time fat you went ass. to a house party? Been ages. <laughs> big fat ass. Six pack abs. <laughs> like I said, bald as the day she was born. <laughs> and tiny little jugs. But like, Yo, come upstairs. I'll run upstairs. Hide. <laughs> and she'll, I'm just like, yeah, and then she'll never find me. I'll go back downstairs. She's like, yeah, you never found me. She's like, what? And I was like, come here and kiss me. That's gonna be my new move. <laughs> <laughs> just come kiss me. Yeah. What are, what are the abs the so cheek. important to this for? Fat I get ass. the bald head, but the fat abs. ass, stomach full of abs. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you get the bald head? I don't. <laughs> just, I'm just making up a fictional situation. So I'm just trying to build a hot girl. Okay. Bald ass head. Bald ass head. Of course. Um. WVU, my alma mater, got real progressive last weekend, and uh, instead of homecoming king and queen, they did homecoming royalty, and it was two women that won. Naturally. Yeah. Mm. Well, you have two guys. Yeah, I know. Two frat guys. <laughs> they wouldn't know who to date rape. <laughs> you rock, paper, scissors, or is it like a boxing match where both boxers like knock each other out at the same time? <laughs> <I'm not laughs> because they, we do make them fuck midfield, so it's awesome that it was two yeah, girls. Yeah, you kind of skip that tradition, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that we, we, we make or them fuck on the 50. Because yeah. m- the mascot holds their musket, but that's just like... At people were at them, like, you better both come or else. Straight, red-blooded American were pissed that two women got were holding hands in a football. Like, that's awesome. You, yeah. Were they a couple or just just two straight chicks? They just they made two straight hands. chicks, I think. Shut up. Yeah, really? they just chose two girls. What was the voting pro? Were they voting on homecoming royalty two women or were there people up for it? It was people up for it. Okay. Yeah, it was like a court. So they won fair and square. You think? They got voted? I think it's random. No. Now, I, I know I can't. I know I shouldn't. And I shan't. <laughs> yet I must. <laughs> Where are we at? Attractive level. Uh, <laughs> uh, WVU... Eight, pretty hot. Mm. No, Th- I thought West Virginia was was a pretty school. Nick, be honest. WVU fives. Uh-oh. I think they Whoa. were. I think they were in like um, educational frater- sororities. Yeah, <laughs> like study study buddies. He's, what? Like study buddies. Like, there's like there's like social. There's so oh, I forgot you went to a Ac- lot of there's like there's there's academic like academic academic <laughs> sororities uh, and then there's social fraternities. Like I was in a fraternity. I've never heard of it. You were not in an academic fraternity. I was. Not, I was certainly not. No. In no. 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 So there's two different types. There's a fun one and then there's like a networking Ew. GPA. I don't think those ones existed in Florida State. If they existed in West Virginia, I imagine they must have been Florida they State. They had to have. But we didn't cross paths. You went to Me. Florida. You were a pike at Florida State? I sure was, yeah. You ever see the vid? I'm sure you have, but the, the video of mm-hmm. like touring the house and like the guys lifting. and Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was, your, that was his fraternity. That's, that was, that that was, was you. Was, that was my life for two years. Did you lift? Uh, I did. I did not, you not, like, not like lifting. That. I think they the, kind of put on a little court. something for. But the they video. were all. They all looked like they lifted a lot. They all. They all. Did I you feel so ostracized by them that you decided to become their hero. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm I'm a, their anti-hero. No, bro. I can see you like, became their anti-hero. Yes. 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 Dude, no. There was They're one gonna time hang we were my there. flags. <laughs> These <laughs> motherfuckers are going to hang my flag one day. They were like, they were treating like you were like one day. You're telling them, I'm going to fucking. They're going to love me one one of these days. 
days. You were up. right yeah. for the first time. Oh, you're going to no, be successful. I'm going to be spend there all God your money on my day. fucking Sherpa. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there was one time we were there. This is for the Dixie Tour, I think. And we were at a party at Florida State and at the Pike so House. The Dixie Tour was like 2000, like. <laughs> Fifteen, I would say, yeah, it's probably okay. somewhere, maybe even. A How did later. you clear your throat and it became worse? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sass and I watched the whole Dixie, Dixie tour back like last week. Awesome. It was. I was only on a brief. That was mostly Busboy, Benny, Caleb, Hank, and I think just the three of them. But I went down to Florida State. Yeah, the water is making his voice more grab. Yeah, I don't like. <laughs> I don't like the seawater paradox where yes, it doesn't it quench. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this story <laughs> okay, and I'll get the on. fuck out of here. No, 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 no. no. Um. It was the we were we we're at the Pike House for a party, and I was just telling Pikes I was like I was like yeah man like, and like the, like Barstool wasn't big enough for them to mm-hmm. know it or be impressed by it. This was just like some people who showed up with free beer, yeah, mm-hmm. and they were at a bus and they were cool with it. And I was like I was in Pike here, and they're like nah way no way <laughs> no, and it wasn't like no way Feidelberg is a Pike. It, it was, was like, like <laughs> no way you tainted up your yeah yeah like no way. I had to take them into the house and show them my on picture the on the fucking wall. Like, did you see that's me? Were you and the they smallest were still guy? Like, not really. Really? Oh, was I the smallest guy? Yeah, Fuck no, dude. Everyone in Florida is five five. No, I meant muscular wise. Uh, probably not. Because uh, I, I was working out uh, then. Uh, okay. Did so, you do steroids? No, there were definitely. I did steroids before college. Okay. Um, how was that? Uh, good. Why? You feel like stone right away. It really works. Really? You, steroids? Is that work? working? Is so, that the, 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 so? If you're not in professional sports, because you'll you know. Loop, You'll lose your job, maybe, if you get nah, caught. Nah. Do you think every person should take them? Yes. Truly. I mean, you shouldn't drink as much as I drank on them. Okay. Um, but, yeah, like, it's fun. Bro, I can I can do, like, three pull-ups. I was on Winstraw for, like, two days and could do, like, 50. Really? It was just, like, easy. Like, That's ah, awesome. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> it was, the, like, everything I touched, I was like, oh, I'm a superhero. Okay. But, you, but you were, like, 17 or before no, high school? No, it was, like, it was, like, it was before, before college? FSU. So and if, when I was at FSU, I was like twenty. So I, I probably did it. So you're like a, I did it probably when I was nineteen, and then I did I, I did it again when I was probably like twenty six, both times. Okay, it works. You should, you should do it again. I think you're I'm not too drinking. Old. I think I'm too old for it now. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna be drinking again soon. Oh, I don't think you're too old. So you had a real health scare, but you're you're ready to start drinking again. Oh, I saw a doctor. The doctor was like, he's like, oh, you're good. Don't be a pussy. Be really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, that's good. <laughs> um. Mm-hmm. I don't know what this company is yet, so I don't know how to segue it. Mystery <laughs> ad. It's a mystery ad. Talk about how more than half of Americans, it's health insurance? For many people in the U.S. concerned about the cost of health insurance, there's no good options. You either go uninsured or pay through the nose for a high deductible plan with questionable coverage. All because of broken health insurance system. It's like being stuck with an outdated TV plan and not knowing about Netflix. CrowdHealth is a community of people who are tired of paying for a broken system. A place where you get a simple, flexible, and affordable way to pay for your health care. It's flexible. There's a monthly subscription. It's simple. You use their app. Find any doctor in the country. Rank from one star to five stars. You can scan bills, then throw them away. Press a button to receive virtual care anytime, anywhere. Now... CrowdHealth is able to offer amazing prices because of the community of health-conscious members. But for a limited time, my listeners, our listeners, get their first month free. And if you've been a member, CrowdHealth will include a fitness wearable. That's 30 days to try risk, risk-free and a fitness wearable. Join CrowdHealth.com fit and enter code ANUS. That's A-N-U-S to sign up. That's join CrowdHealth.com fit slash A-N-U-S. CrowdHealth is not health insurance. It's a community-powered alternative. Terms and conditions, those always apply. A priest in my high school got caught fucking a student. (laughs) A male or female student? I went to an all-boys school. Okay. (laughs) Oh. Oh. Caught Um, implies it it was in the act. Yeah. Or he got stuck in them. (laughs) (laughs) Which caught is it? So fucking which was it? (laughs) Yeah. Um, It was in the grand act. Um, The student came out and said that they were in love and that there was nothing wrong with it. How old is the student? Freshly 18 max. Did the priest agree that they were in love? Yeah, but they sent sent them to Rome. 
Yeah, that's what they typically do. I mean, that's an upgrade. Yeah, like, yeah. That sounds priest, awesome. Like the kid comes out, he's in love, and the priest is like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa!" <laughs> no, no, buddy, no, no, buddy, no, buddy. no, no, I was assaulting him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, love. I swear. Uh, yeah, he's like, I'm a, I, he's like, I'm a god fearing man. I swear to God, love. I was raping. <laughs> Bro. Whoa! No, I, I, whoa! Whoa! Right. Right. Whoa. 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 whoa! No, no, we were I was taking, not in love. I was taking advantage of him. I, yeah. I have poisoned his mind to make him think that he's in love. <laughs> but, no, 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 no. But also, like <laughs> priests take a vow of poverty, and they probably hardly get to go abroad. So all they have to do to go to Rome yeah. is, to is bust. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what people like save up money to go to the Mediterranean, to go to Europe, oh, to we're go to see Italy. the Colosseum. You just go. To Dad's Rome. been working really hard. <laughs> no, I mean, they probably put, in, really put in the time. Well, I don't. We had another one who went to rehab in Rome. Rehab, rehab in Rome. Still. Yeah. Now, when they go yeah. Rome, no, like, we're talking Vatican, Vatican, Rome, Vatican right? City. Yeah, yeah, we're talking gold, uh, fucking city of gold. Are yeah. we? Yes. We're talking Swiss. So guard. the Pope is just, just surrounded by rapists. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Why do you think he's always like so the old? highest well, level? Yeah. Why do you think church, Young Pope is an dude. HBO show and he's not Young Pope? Well, that's what Jesus was surrounded by all just like criminals. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I guess it's something about the Vatican. The Pope wakes up and just like has to like weave through rapists to get to like. Dinner. <laughs> why, it's why all the police <laughs> in, the, in the Vatican are dressed like a clown. It's because they just remind, remind them of children a little bit. So it's like you can have a little children today, not all the children, but just a little childhood. Uh, um, <coughs> young Pope. How, I just what? like want to be in the premise meeting at HBO. I forgot that was a thing. Everybody yeah. did. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> forgot Young Pope. <laughs> How Big young was the busy? Pope? He wants to be a hot cigarette smoking. Pope you would have thought they would have started with Young President. Maybe? Young President makes a little bit more sense. Young Pope would be a funny rapper. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the, uh, what was the fucking? It's a Dan Brown novel, Angels and Demons. Yeah. Where uh, fuck? What's his name? The actor. Uh, Tom Hanks? No, the other one in that movie. Sean Bean? No. Keanu Reeves? <laughs> I don't know. Was, I don't know who's in the he's, he's in the old Star Wars movies. Mark, Mark Hamill. Hamill. No. Harrison Ford. No. Carrie Fisher. The old, the new Star Wars movies. You son of a bitch. It's hard to Hayden think. Christensen. No, but that, that version of the movies. Qui-Gon Jinn. He plays Obi-Wan, I think. Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor it is. <laughs> then we got there. The no, old I think it was so. Keanu Reeves. It was Keanu. <laughs> <laughs> you singulared his name. I think you said Keanu Reeves. I, I, I don't know. Neo fell off a horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's him do, like falling off a horse like Neo. Like yeah. <laughs> uh, but Ewan McGregor. He's, yeah, what about he's, him? He's the young pope in, the, in Angels and Demons. He has a young pope in Angels and Demons as well? In a it different is, fictional he, universe, he, he is really trying it's more to. Young it's quite pope? nefarious. The young pope universe. Becoming pope, but uh, he becomes it. How did young pope? I've not. What was like the twist? Was he hiding his age? I never watched <laughs> young pope. <laughs> <He was> not, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was. He was fucking right. Pope was. Fucking. Oh, he was fucking, and he was uh, an atheist. Oh, uh, and so I remember there was a so rooftop scene. He brought a cardinal up, and he found out one of he. I was like, he found out one of the cardinals was gay, and I think he was like, well, I don't believe in God, and then like. I, Cardinal like tried to I don't know. It was just <gasps> Cardinal jumped off, killed himself. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he didn't care about being gay, but he was like, you can't feel believe in God. This Pope <laughs> looks awfully young. <laughs> nope. That's my secret. He was like forty four. Yeah, no, yeah, Jude Law, not that young. Not that young. Right. I want a, I want a child Pope. <laughs> I want, I want, young I want him to be in the same class as young Sheldon. I, I was going to say Boss Baby. <laughs> boss Baby. I want Boss Baby Pope. I would rock. <laughs> Just like, you're, you're doing what to my penis? <laughs> nah. This Pope seems a little young. <laughs> Does Pope seem fucking young to you? <laughs> <laughs> um, Kyle, you want to do an ad? I feel I don't know how long. We got more ad. Yeah. How many have we done? Two. There's three. I think. What is it? I haven't looked yet. We should be more prepared about that. This, everybody loves when we do ads. Mm-hmm. We have four. Jesus. We have like a 20 minute podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kyle, I'll let you do cuts clothing.
Well, well, we have cuts clothing a lot. Why don't you just talk about it a little bit, and I'll jump in. You know, the support of business. Their cuts founder, Steve Borelli. Stevie? Mm-hmm. That shirt uh, I wore yesterday, the one that fit me really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What mm-hmm. about that? What That was cut Cuts clothing? That was Cuts clothing. They have the best shirts. Don't they? They do. I'm just being serious. No, they have the best shirts. They are not, they're not an ad this week, are they? Oh, actually, strangely enough, they are. So people aren't going to think that's authentic. But you were being just genuine. You I brought was, that up out yeah. of nowhere. You were wearing shirts, the, hoodies. You shorts. were wearing the buttery soft pica tri blend tee, weren't you? It was the, the buttery the, soft one. I noticed it had a bold take on a classic design. Yeah, is that was that the one? Yeah, that was the one. It was, I was the wearing. perfect T-shirt. They accomplished that. It's the fabric uniquely engineered for each clothing style. Isn't that isn't isn't that right, Kyle? You're yeah. mi- let me flounder here, <laughs> Kyle. Did it wrinkle? It did not wrinkle. It, it did wrinkle not free. Yeah, wrinkle That's because the pika yeah. it won't won't let you wrinkle. Cuts premium with a purpose. Each piece of clothing is designed with a custom engineered fabric expertly graded for the perfect fit. It's not just a lifestyle. It's not just clothing. It's office leisure apparel. Will it break? No, it won't, won't break. fucking break. Oh, you can wear it at the office. You can wear it at the gym. You it won't the break. Fifteen percent uh, off your first order by going to cutsclothing.com slash anus. anus. That's uh, cutsclothing.com slash a n u s for fifteen percent off. I love how <laughs> the ad is completely over. Um, so if you're an advertiser listening for your ad, that one's over. <laughs> that copy, it was. it's not just a lifestyle. It's not just clothing. It's business leisure. They, like, made it smaller. <laughs> <laughs> they should have been like, it's not, it's not just business leisure. It's not just clothes. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. I said it's not just a lifestyle. <laughs> it's, it's not it's a they lifestyle. Russian it. yeah, they Russian dolled it. Yeah, they nesting dolled it just yeah. to get smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, it's not clothes. It's not clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Cuts clothes. It's almost it's not clothes. It's, it's a very specific place. It's a very, very niche, niche, niche thing. <laughs> it's not clothing. It's not a lifestyle. You know that spot you never go anymore? <laughs> the office. Yeah. This is the perfect thing. It's perfect wear. for the office, the place that's been closed for two years. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wanted to wear it to the movies? You, no, no thanks. No, no, it's perfect no. for the office or dates, <laughs> concerts. That you poor guy who was starting to think his cut's clothing was a lifestyle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're telling me this isn't I'm a lifestyle? No, take it off. <laughs> Give it back. Yeah. Good thing you got 15% off. <laughs> Only wear this. Um... I have nothing else to fucking talk about. <laughs> Let me tell you about my wife. Nah. Name, what about that t-shirt? Name a movie. Name a movie. Superman. Let me tell you about my wife. <laughs> yeah. She's super ugly, man. Uh, she's, uh, she can't cook worth a damn. She's always making soup. She always gets sick. I'm always taking her to the ER. The er. <laughs> I'm always taking her to the er. Uh, My health insurance premiums are through the er. And yeah, she's got a big old Adam's apple. People think she's a man. <laughs> she's well, going to gang. theme park. She makes me wear shirts that say er man. <laughs> er man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just she, she's like joined a gang. She's a crip. Parks. And she always she just has sex with her. She's a, she has a foot fetish. Every Wednesday's toe night. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck. That's that's fun. <laughs> that started off with Kyle doing C.S. Lewis, the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe. <laughs> She's always lying. She's a witch, and she only cares about her wardrobe. <laughs> and then we've just kind of taken that when magic. When did that start? Probably about three months ago. Oh, we've been doing three months? Now? No, no, we no, just brought it back this episode. I did not want to bring it back. <laughs> and the thing is, like, yours, your voice was... Was it racist? Your voice Ray, it was. It was racist. Do it. Do it. Thinly little. veiled racism. Do it. Here's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, well, the just, just in there, we you got the tell, gist. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's audio it. blackface. There's a whole movie about that. Have you seen that? No. I think it's called, like, Taikwisha. It's about oh, a no. it's about a guy who wants to be a radio host, and they're like, "Nah, you're white. We want somebody of color." And then he submits. It's Luckwisha, I think. He submits like his voice 
he does like audio blackface and he gets the job as like a black relationship advice woman <laughs> what actually I, is I, it I, a true I, story shit. no john <laughs> well black Klansman's <laughs> kind of the same thing isn't it is that a true story black Klansman is is it yeah it's oh no no it's it's they had a black yeah, guy yeah. on the phone and then they had a jewish guy who joined the clan loquisha move yeah loquisha it is, and she becomes like a superstar. One point seven out of ten and on then just, IMDb. Six yeah, yeah. percent. <laughs> Hold on. Actually, let's just can we play the, the trailer it. on the podcast? No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh fuck. Oh, fuck. I, was, fuck. I was banking on a yes. I <laughs> uh, we've done that a few in a row. It just keep it takes it out of the episode. Uh, so there's yeah. no point of putting it in. It doesn't take it out. It pulls it after a few days. I didn't know they had the tech. Yeah, it's impressive actually. Yeah. What uh, what did you guys do for your theme song? You had one made, didn't you? By uh, no, didn't Cal make you guys a theme song? I honestly have never listened to my podcast, so I don't know. You never listened? Nope. I don't know what the theme song is. I thought it was just some kind of like uh, fucking I don't know, one of those free songs. No, that, no, I think you had Cal got the ears. Right you Hold on, we're just gonna cut this out. Really so just talking to myself. <laughs> <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. Um, Kyle, what do you have to talk about, friend? Um, I don't know. You're back on Tinder. <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah, back you, on he's back on Tinder, and he had a date with you. Her profile said she was a competitive eater, but I think you got conned. <laughs> she. You don't have to pretend like I'm the star of this story <laughs> to tell the story. So just Kyle tell. got on Tinder. His first date, she said she was a competitive eater, but I think he got conned so she could just get a bunch of like leftovers. Because <laughs> you went out to Danico, the restaurant in Little Italy, and she ordered like 11 spaghettis Shut and had up. one. She had one. No. <laughs> yes. And his she bill was like one. $450. She <laughs> took the rest home. Yeah. Get the fuck out of There's nothing. She was meal prepping, I think, for the week <laughs> by going on one day. You bought this woman 11, no, sp- 11 no. spaghettis, John. No, you split the bill, so you bought five. No, I did. No, this is real. <laughs> so you bought five spaghettis. No, you didn't. No, them. she bought 11 spaghettis. She, she was like, like yeah, I'm a competitive eater. And of course, you're like, no way. I, I was like, prove it. And she, she was like, all right, um, I'll take 11 spaghettis. Shut up. Yeah. Yeah. And she took 10 home? She didn't she, eat, yeah, she, she no, ate she the took one. like oh, ten and she a had half. Like three quarters of the first plate, and, <laughs> and took she the other. Paid for she took the, the bill? other no. Ten well, that's that's what I'm saying. So, I paid you, for it. That's what okay, yeah, she's on Tinder. This con, was my point. She's on yes. Tinder conning as a okay. I mean, look, there competitive is eater. A free meal, sure. Do one day didn't didn't know stars didn't align. This is her biggest no, heist yet. I got no problem picking up the bill for your salmon, for your steak, right. whatever you got. John, I paid. For ten spaghetti, eleven <laughs> spaghettis There's for this no woman. No way. This happened. And yes. you didn't this even Nick bring anything said, up about it. Nick just I can't brought it up. About that till right now. I know. Nick just brought it up. I didn't. Well, I was embarrassed <laughs> about this story of the girl who fucking conned me into buying her eleven Always spaghetti. Always conned, John. In what universe would that ever be true? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking can't tell if you guys are lying to me. I mean, that, you, that he fell for the classic that 11 spaghettis. <laughs> we get everybody with 11 spaghettis on this show. <laughs> it is. If you pay for 11 spaghettis. Yes, well, that was why we, was, <laughs> why we made it. Oh, the sp- it doesn't it's exist. It's not real. <laughs> I can't with you guys. I never know. He fell for 11 yeah, spaghettis 11 twice. Spaghettis. <laughs> No. Can't tell. I still, I still don't know. Kyle, went out. Right. that one's a layup. That one's a layup no, lie. Nothing's a layup. That's a guys. layup lie. Eleven spaghettis. <laughs> <laughs> Think of that. <laughs> Kyle's just going to sit there, not bat an eye for eleven <laughs> spaghettis. <laughs> that hasn't ever happened to anyone. Divide it by four. <laughs> Kyle matched with a girl on Tinder. That's your first red flag that this is a lie. The second that. He, <laughs> she was a competitive eater, and she's <laughs> dating people. <laughs> no, that happens. Com- there that can be skinny competitive eaters. Women, yeah, a lot of the who, woman scene. Women, no. Well, speaking of competitive eaters, uh, well, no, I, no, I don't want you out of this so easy. Actually, yeah, well, <laughs> what do you got? No, go ahead. Speaking of, I'm gonna find it real quick. I somehow, for some reason, follow um, young Pat Barstool. I'm sorry, nope, uh, Joey Chestnut. On what the f- you confused him with Pat? Don't worry, it connects. 
Um, I follow Pat yeah, on. Uh, I'm sorry, I follow Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus. <laughs> My word. I follow Joey Man. Chestnut on Instagram. Yeah, of course. And he is straight Pat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he looks bit. like Pat. He He's looks. He d- I did not know that, and I know the man well. He looks like oh. Pat. <laughs> I have my suspicions that pa- gay Pat is straight Pat. Uh, oh, oh, absolutely. That, yeah. Gay Pat is the straightest person, maybe a barstool. He can dunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only is, gay so. person that can dunk is Brittany Griner. <laughs> In my brain. <laughs> 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 if a man can dunk, he. That's. Dunking is more masculine than fucking pussy. <laughs> oh, for sure. Oh, wh- yeah. By a so pretty decent margin. I can't even get net. So I, that means I'm getting my back blown out <laughs> in the basketball community. He has. Uh, I was gonna say he's like in in the office with Michael Scott. Oh no, when Dwight is talking about how Phyllis might be a lesbian because she makes no attempts to be feminine. Pat makes no attempts to be homosexual. None, except for the, the penises he has sex with. Yeah. Aside that's from that, th- but that's like hell. the smallest part of being gay. Yeah. <laughs> it is. He has a gay podcast, but even he's like, I wish it wasn't uh, gay themed. Even that, when I go on that <laughs> podcast, which I've been tricked into almost being a co-host on that podcast, I've been on that podcast like ten times. It's been around for like three months. You're significantly gayer than Pat. Oh, he. Oh, yeah. We make a point that I'm I'm the gayest person in the room. Yeah. When it, we're there, it's I can't dunk. Can't can't dunk. I can I can touch net though. I actually. Nick, you, you can't, can't touch net. Hardly. Net. I can't what do you mean hardly? You're 6'2". I, I, I think two. I can, I think can't I can get rim. <laughs> you think I can get rim? Now I, mean, I, think I can get rim. You can't get rim, John. I, I, uh, there was a time in my life I could get rim. I don't yeah, know. I think I could touch 6'1". 6'1". I think I could touch the, one? Six one. I I could uh, touch the bottom probably of the backboard. Maybe. You can barely get net at 6'2". Yeah, I, that's actually true. The backboard's higher than the net. Yeah, but I'm trying to, like, hopefully people forget about what I just said. Yeah. No, I could probably get backboard. It's really high. It also, is. I've never, I've not had the need to jump in probably a decade. And and you should, I mean, you see the Tom Segura video of him trying to dunk? Shattered his leg. Shattered <laughs> his leg. Dis- That's dis- the dis- least dis- athletic destroyed. feat of all time. But yeah. what people forget is he was dunked, like, that was nine and a half. Tom is not a big man, and he's an overweight man. Yeah. And he was, he had just dunked on nine easily. He was going for nine and a half. That's a pretty incredible athletic feat. No, he shattered his leg. Like a compound. Well, even the, even the, the successful dunk at nine is incredible. Sure, that Cause, is. Cause yeah. I would say Tom's 5'8", probably. I've only met him once, but like, I would say he's he did not strike me as a taller man. Maybe he's 5'10". I forget. People strike you as shorter. People think I'm short. People, oh, everyone says it to me all the time. Oh, yeah. yep. oh I, didn't, I didn't expect you to be that big. I'm like, dude, is that my personality? I have a, it's I have something. No, I have, I have a short personality. Nick you have a, a short head. I'm short. Yeah, yes. That's it. Because your yes. personality isn't short, but something about you, I, I you have the same head shape as Binky five, from nine. Hey Arnold. Or what was his name? Who's the bully on Hey Arnold? Harold. Harold. You have the Wolf same head gang. shape. You look like what? <laughs> 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 Fucking Wolfgang. Fucking Wolfgang head ass. <laughs> yeah, I was shocked when I met you for the first time in years. What Nick, do you mean? That, what, it, oh, and you oh were yeah. T- six two. I thought you were the first like, time we met. I thought you were gonna be five nine. I think the first time we met in person was like right before my interview. Here, uh, the first time in a while. No, oh, the world's largest school, connect, yeah. the world's largest connect, connect four, four tournament. tournament. Yeah, that's that's a true one. <laughs> that was I got bounced in the first round. <laughs> Paired me up with a Rajon Rondo. Yeah, the Rondo of connect. Is he good at connect four? <laughs> Rajon Rondo's a, he's a big connect four fan. I believe he uh, hails himself as. It's a broken game. You can just win if you go first. Mm-hmm. If you know how to play, you win if you go first. So at that point, it's why would you play? Yeah, that's make more sense. Yeah. I like that the instructions are also the name of the game. There should be more of that. Um, <laughs> another good name is Hello Fresh, is it not? Uh-huh. What do you like about that? I like all the the, the variety of the the meal options. Yeah, what do you order? <laughs> name three things you order: butternut squash. Yeah. Uh, the loaded nachos. Yeah, <laughs> those travel uh-huh. well. <laughs> and uh, the soup buck. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah, those are the three I typically get. Um, the butternut squash, the loaded nachos, and the soup bucket. Um, it's all good for fall. Those are my three favorite fall treats. HelloFresh has recipes that you'd otherwise spend meal planning, shopping, and chopping. Um, you could order just 11 spaghettis if you wanted, Kyle. Prep for the whole week, or if you have a date night, get all of them for one girl. HelloFresh offers the flexibility you need to customize your order on, uh, on the app within minutes. Usually change your delivery day. Food preferences, plan sides, and skip a week whenever you need to. Uh, 
we already shared our personal experiences, uh, except for you, John. Me? Yeah. I'm cooking the Bavette steak tonight, baby. Are you? Yeah. Well, big. I'm a big HelloFresh guy. Well, once you're out, you can go to HelloFresh.com slash Story14, S-T-O-R-Y-1-4. Use code Story14 to up to 14 free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Story14. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh. Dude, I'm like, I use the MyFitnessPal app, and I'm counting all of my calories. This is real. Okay. And it's pathetic. Why? Macros, You have a food scale? It's bad when you get a food scale. Yeah, it's getting bad. Like You have a food scale. I don't have a food scale. Why do you? Why are you doing but any of this? I went sober, and yeah. now I need. So, like, a, that's enough. You no, did. that's what happens. Is now you, you start becoming, like a, you addicted become addicted obsessed with yourself and like bettering yourself and mm. thinking higher of yourself than you are and no, you don't. enjoying your. You body. don't have to do that. That's not a that's that's not necessary. The stage I'm effect. on. Are you paying for the advance? Like, are you paying for My Fitness Pal Plus? I've, I almost bit the bullet. My little sister is um, obsessed with Love Island, and all the Love Island male contestants do like meal plans and like workout plans after they're off the show. She yeah. signed up to her favorite contestant's meal plan, oh, no. Antone. His program's called Antoned. <laughs> and of course. guess how much that is a month? Um, first off, you shouldn't. You that's a scam. Yes. Paying for some guys. So you get diet? it because you get one Facetime with him, and she's still oh, waiting. Oh, Anna! You have to sign up for three months. I'll FaceTime. Uh, KB sister, from Barstool. Leave my sister's, sister's name out. Oh. <laughs> the, uh, I it's would... $135 a month. Oh, Jeez. that's cheaper than I thought it was going to be. What? what? Yeah. It's she a has meal plan? Meal oh, plan, wait, workout plan? She gets How many? Me- food. Don't, no. We've, no already, we've already figured out meals and diets. Yes, How, you need uh, three. Like some other guy is going to just make a He's a, a short little one? Scottish man that was on Love Island. Like, yeah, I'm going to trust him with my well-being <laughs> for a FaceTime with him. There's she only, has no money. There's only one diet. Eat less calories than you burn. Or eat. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you nailed it. That's all you have to do. Seco. There's no, like, fucking magic secret. I'm on that OMAD. One meal a day. Are you? No. <laughs> I... Intermittent fasting. That's baby. like it, that intermittent makes, fasting is just called eating. Yeah, like that's. I eat, I didn't really uh, fast yeah, I twelve hours meals. a day. Like, yeah. Oh, nine of them I'm asleep. Yeah. It's called, yeah. yeah. That's that's bullshit. That, that was an like easy meal one. preps and like stuff like that, like subscription boxes, huge scam. Except HelloFresh. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, you've been in the game for a while. <laughs> Not me. I tow the line. Other like Bark Box. What's Bark oh, Box? Yeah. The dog toy yeah, one. The dog toy. Just like I'm gonna pay twenty five dollars a month. Toys? It's like no, it's really cool because I don't get to pick it out. What? <laughs> oh, it's really cool. They send it to me. Yeah, that's yeah. shipping. <laughs> <laughs> You're paying shipping. a lot for like a mystery item. That, like my my dog has seven hundred toys now because I forgot to cancel Bark Box. Three years Fuck ago. Fuck you. I, I love mystery Wait, dogs. I've been to your place. You don't have a dog. No, I know. I'm just I'm doing He's this. Trying to trying to play play you, you're an idiot. He 11 spaghetti. I'm the smartest me. one here today. <laughs> he 11 spaghetti me. <laughs> um, um, my buddy Anthony has like the mass, the man box, the masculine box. He gets like a, a fucking Bowie knife every every oh, month. Yeah, so he, yeah. That's rules. <laughs> that rules? Yes. What's he going to do with big knives? <laughs> he just gets a mystery box filled with like different weapons. Like the most masculine shit, which is like leather and ropes, which is also the gayest shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, masculine shit like leather and ropes. <laughs> and, and woodsy perfumes. And, yeah. <laughs> and you can smell good. Like a, smell like a man should. Smells like whiskey that really got dumped dainty. on a tree. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you have drinks poured all over you. You know, masculine shit. Like leather vests. <laughs> <laughs> leather blazers are making no, a comeback. And whips. <laughs> okay, all right. Fuck you. I would love that box. I want to sign. I think mis- the sign whole, up for it right now. The whole appeal What's is called? that Birch box the or excitement you get from like you don't know what you're gonna get. It's fun. Yeah, yeah that was awesome. Kyle. Kyle. Birch box. That shit. That's, that's like what you're paying. Birch box is makeup. I think so. What's like, the What's the masculine knife box? I'm gonna get a fucking mystery box right now. All right, I'll sign up for order, one, and then we can reveal them Johnny? on the next show. The mystery box. Let's all pick out I one mystery box. I want to do a box. subscription service. That's what they are. Then you're just buying one box. I want to buy one mystery box. You can't do one. that. Big one. A big mystery? Okay, buy the... They you, do like, you quit drinking. You have extra money. You've been buying fire fits. Spend three hundred dollars on a mystery box. Three hundred? Yes. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Woo! <Mystery laughs> box. They do... Uh, for sale. Search like man box. What do they do? 
Um, I don't even know where I was going with that sentence. You just started. They do. Yeah. You, they do you like started it. a. They do without anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff, just in do. case something came. <laughs> <laughs> I always start sentences just in case I can fill them out <laughs> instantaneously. You know what? <laughs> without thought. <laughs> <laughs> what? They do ones for uh, vintage clothes. Oh, do they? Like no, 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 no. I want him to get. I want. What like, do you want? I want me to it is. You I got want, it, what do you want me to get? I want you to get items, knickknacks, uh, okay. tchotchkes. Okay, mystery. Is there a tchotchke box? box? Mystery box for children. What about doodads? Gizmos. Doodads, gizmos, Gadgets. tchotchkes. I want you to get like uh, a gizmo. Yeah, like a like a metal cog. <laughs> Just like this is cool. <laughs> I want you to get a box filled with that. cogs and gears. <laughs> cogs and gears. Oh, there's like a bike chain in here. That would be awesome. We should do that. Let's do a mystery box. Yeah. All right, you want, well, we're going to make one anus mystery box. <laughs> That's how we'll sign off today. But we're, ah, fuck, and they're then, gonna know we're gonna put cogs in there because I'm gonna put a cog in there. <laughs> I'm keeping my cogs. Okay. Um, like a bottle cap. <laughs> there's like one. Yeah. All right. So how are they gonna win the anus mystery box? Uh, just uh, the the one person who responds yeah. will just. Give DM your address. DM, DM us your address and you get it. You win it. Congrats to Joe Owens with four Z's. He always wins. <laughs> uh, wait, is that the guy? Because we, we did the uh, Barstool Golf hoodie giveaway where we just wrote anus on it as well. Mm -hmm. And the one guy that won it lived in fucking England. <laughs> us sending that hoodie cost like $35. Yeah. <laughs> That's box money. That's subscription box money. Which one did you get? I'm looking for Because we'll do now. a live opening on the podcast. Man, search man box. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fights, I saw something beautiful last night. What's that? If someone offered you a million dollars, you would take it, right? Jesus. Yeah, What's that? If someone offered you a million dollars, you would take it? What do you mean? You would take the million dollars. If they just offered it for no strings attached? Let me help yes. you out. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd take that. Here, Kyle. Now, what if they said you won't wake up tomorrow, but you get the million dollars? <laughs> Boy, that's like one of those cash on the table things where you're like, man, how do I not wake up? Well, you're supposed to say no. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's uh, saying that today well, is worth more than a million dollars to you. Well, okay, so we got to the bottom of that one. It depends on how you're going to end me. No, nah, it's... Like, if it's just like a mystical pe creature being like, you won't wake up tomorrow, like... Okay. You need a mystical creature to tell you <laughs> that. <laughs> you bring it in mystical creature. <laughs> like so wait, you brought up mystical. The moral of the you story brought up mystical creature. I thought you were going to get impaled by a unicorn. No, or no, no, no. It's just like a wizard. It's a mystical like, creature. He's like, you're not waking up tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a chukacabra. He's like, yeah, you're going to die in your sleep. But if like if it was like a person, like I'm going to stab you to death tonight. I'm like, oh, I'll pass on that. Yeah, I don't want to be stabbed to death. Yeah, that's. I'd rather be hit by a truck than by a bike. Oh, not me. Because I know how to... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bikes are sharp. They look like they fucking hurt. Because then I, I, I... First of all, then I have an excuse They're both to going fight. the same speed. Fine. I have an excuse to fight the biker after that, which is always... You want to fight? The bike, oh, yeah. So a biker, hell yeah. They're the worst. Uh, the you have a history of yeah. beef with bikers. They're fucking scumbags. As you should. Absolute scumbags. But also, um, I remember seeing on like a... I don't know, one of those like how to survive shows that when you're going to get hit by a car, you jump at it. It's like in hockey, like when you get hit, you're supposed to try and get hit totally by the boards. Yeah. It kind of pushes you back out. And that's the same thing with you jump into the windshield rather than getting your hips and knees taken out. Do that with a biker. You end up just clotheslining a cyclist with your whole body. Kind of sick. That is, that that is, is Has anyone awesome. ever tried this? No, but I'm down. Go get a city. I bike. don't know how physics works, so I think the bike would just hit me and then topple. I think I'd, I don't know. I don't know. It would hurt. It would hurt really bad. It would hurt for sure. And it would be more embarrassing because, like, if you, somebody sees you just got hit by a car, they're coming to help. And People it's, like, so much more masculine. You. It's like a scene. Like, a car's coming. Honk, honk. Er, and then a bike. just like, tring. And you hear, like, a wicker <laughs> basket crumple in the front of the bike. <laughs> tring, tring. Out of the way. All right. Uh, that's a new untold story. Episode yeah. number what, Owen? 259. Sick. Awesome. All right. Play the outro.